What's up guys, Justin here with the renderingessentials.com back with another Twin Motion 2020 tutorial for you. So in today's video I wanted to talk a little bit more about the new emitters or the enhanced emitter materials contained inside of Twin Motion 2020. I also thought that we could try to replicate one of the effects that was contained inside of the Twin Motion 2020 release video. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so um, in the Twin Motion 2020 release trailer, one of the things they talked about was the enhanced emissive materials. And so basically what that means is now the neon materials emit real light, meaning they actually light your scene. And so I thought it could be kind of fun, and uh, I should probably mute this. I thought it would be kind of fun to try to replicate this scene, at least to a certain degree, just as kind of a, kind of a test of the new feature. And so what I've done is I've created a SketchUp model, it's very simple. So I'm going to import that model. And basically what the model is, is it's just a corridor like this one right here. And all it is, is it's just a box around the outside. And then it's a material right here. So I've got a separate material applied here and a separate material applied here. So nothing special about this at all. Um, but what we're going to start off by doing is we're going to start off by um, we're going to go to our time of day and we're going to make this late at night. So when we make this late at night, you can see how it's completely dark in here. And then your camera kind of adjusts to this, but you can see how there's no source of light. So you don't really see very much in here. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to mess around with applying some different materials and uh, just seeing what we could create. So if, if you remember, first off, all of the materials inside of Twin Motion, when you apply them, have a setting where you can adjust the glow. And so notice if I go to my settings and adjust the glow that this is going to brighten this up. So you can see how I can use this to emit kind of a white light. And you're going to notice this is actually lighting my scene just like they said that it would. And so this is a really cool feature just by itself because your emitters are actually casting real light. Now I will know, I don't believe, and we could try dropping a model in here, but I don't believe that they cast shadows. Let's give it a look. So let's bring a, uh, we'll call it a sofa. So let's bring a sofa in here and see. See, there isn't really, there aren't really shadows cast by this. Like you can see how it's blocking the light that's being emitted here, but shadows aren't being cast. So like, for example, if we were to move this up and then drop like a omni light or something like that. So we'll drag an omnidirectional light in here and turn the shadows on. You can see how now that couch is actually casting shadows. So note that shadows are not going to be cast based on your emitters. So your emitters are going to emit light but not cast shadows. That's just kind of the way this is going to work. But another thing that you're going to notice about this is it gets kind of annoying trying to adjust the color of these emitters because it doesn't really do anything, right? So if you turn your glow up in here, um, it doesn't really do anything having to do with colors. So you can't adjust the color of the light being emitted, which is kind of frustrating. However, the way around this is to use, instead of using a material like we're using right here, you can go into your materials over here into the specialty neon materials. And so if you apply these neon materials to this instead, so if you drop that in here, then you can adjust the color. So notice how I can adjust the color of the light being emitted by using these neon materials. So my recommendation is if you need to apply actual color to your lights inside a twin motion, apply the neon material and adjust the color there. So that's gonna work way better. And so one thing we might wanna think about doing is we might wanna add a more reflective material right here. Um, so the more reflection that your material has in here, you can see how the more the light is going to bounce off of it. So again, this is really cool because this is actually like, this is actually simulating the way the light is bouncing off of these surfaces. So if you turn your reflective value up, you're going to get more light reflecting off of your other materials as well. So another cool thing about this is if you pick, if you remember some of these other materials, um, actually adjust. So like the police beacon, for example, if you were to click and drag this right here, you can see how the police beacon material is actually going to get applied to this face and it's going to cast light in here as well. So same thing with the multicolored neon. So what that's going to do is that's going to adjust between your different colors in here. Um, if you wanted to, you could use this to create some different kinds of effects in here. And so real quick, let's go ahead and let's add a light 
over here, just for fun, just to kind of match up with what was in the twin motion video. Let's go ahead and add an omnidirectional light right here, or, you know what, let's call it a neon light, actually. So we're gonna turn our intensity up. We'll go ahead and turn our shadows on. So basically what that's gonna do is that's gonna cast light in that corridor over here. And then we'll go ahead and for right now, we'll take this material, this neon, back to, whoops, back to a standard neon. So something like this, I'm probably gonna bring the glow power down a little bit and probably adjust the color to something maybe a little bit more red. So what we've got is we've now got a light over here. So we have a neon light on the end over here, casting light across our corridor, and then we have our emitter lighting this right here. So the only other thing I wanna do is I just wanna create a path, and we're gonna call it a character path. And we're just going to go from this point here to this point here, and then we'll right click. And what's gonna happen from that point is now you're gonna get characters starting to walk across here. And the cool thing about this is those characters are actually gonna cast shadows. So you can see how because this neon light over here is set up to cast shadows, you're actually gonna get shadows from where your people are. And you're also getting reflections over here. So this very closely mirrors what they had showed us inside of the, uh, what they had showed us inside of their preview. And it's actually really easy to create. And so you could kind of play around with if shadows are a good idea or not. Um, in this situation, I think they probably are, but you could also mess around with the intensity of your light, maybe make this kind of a whiter color. But then once you're done, you could create a video, click on create video. And we're gonna say that it's 10 seconds long. And the other thing I might do is I might bump up the density on my path just a bit so I get a few more people walking through here. But then we're just gonna take this video. You can click on more in order to set your output size. I'm gonna leave it at 1920 by 1080. And then we'll go into our export settings and we'll just export this as a video. So if I click on start export, it's gonna ask me to place it somewhere. We'll just click select folder and we're gonna let this export. And so this is gonna to have to go through and render all the frames, but you can see how for a 10 second video, it's rendering really quickly. Like this is actually going really fast. So we'll go ahead and let it finish. And then we'll take a look at our result and see what it creates. So now if we were to open this video up, there's probably a little bit of work to do on the people actually walking by. So I would probably add a few more people in here, but you can see how you do get a video where your light's being simulated bouncing off of these surfaces. It's being lit just by the emitters and by the neon light that we added over here. So for the amount of time we spent on this, this is a really great result, at least in my opinion. And I may mess around with this a little bit more in the future. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Have you tried the new emitters yet? How do you feel about them? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.